what's up everybody? This is Sutan like I said from EFKB Grappling. Uh, I'm here today with my friend Gautier and uh, together we are going to demonstrate the technique uh, for you. Today the technique is going to be triangle from uh, close guard, okay? Like, I believe there are so many uh, options and setups uh, to get a triangle, I mean, to get a fever 4 grip with your legs and then do some micro adjustments to finish a triangle, okay? And uh, I believe that triangle is a very useful submission and uh, it's one of the maybe first submissions that Jiu Jitsu fighters or uh, martial artists they first learn when they first step into Jiu Jitsu or any kind of grappling sports. And uh, there are, as I said, there are numerous ways to get triangle from every position you can imagine. Okay? The way I, look, I like to get it from close guard uh, is either to control the post wrist, which is the uh, most basic way, the easiest way to get a triangle and uh, it doesn't always work like you have to have a very good timing, you have to have very flexible hips you have to be explosive and just like uh, an explosive moment in a uh, fraction of a second you have to be able to uh, I mean bring your ties over the uh, shoulders of your opponent and just tap them, okay? To grab the triangle and make them, make them tap. But the way I like to do it is from overhook. So triangle from overhook is with what we're gonna uh, work on today, okay? Because I know people who, who work on triangle from overhook, who show triangle from overhook, and uh, once they're doing the triangle from overhook, they don't have the proper leg, uh, I mean, adjustment, proper, I mean, uh, tie adjustment over the opponent's shoulder and because of that reason uh, their opponent is going to be able to see the triangle coming and either going to posture up or either going to, I don't know, maybe resist with the other hand or pull out the shoulder, stuff like that, pull out the elbow, excuse me, stuff like that. So once you're doing the triangle with the overhook, you need less timing but more uh, uh, more technique and uh, more details and more patient uh, after all to uh, be able to get the triangle from there okay so I'm gonna show it now uh, for the sake of demonstration I'm gonna show it on this side okay let's go towards that side so I can show it on your left side because it's easier for me to demonstrate it on the left side yeah it's it's the same for everybody guys everybody once you're demonstrating technique or drilling technique we have a weak side and we have a stronger side. So triangles for me personally, it's easier to demonstrate on that side. So the first concern I'm gonna have somebody on my close guard is to break the posture. So I break his posture, okay? And as soon as I break his posture, I'm gonna keep him there, okay? So I'm gonna break his posture, I'm gonna post, make him post his hands on the mat. As soon as I'm gonna break his posture, I'm gonna go over his head, grab his head here. I can even turn his head to this side so it's gonna be harder for him. Uh, to posture up and uh, he's what he's what he's gonna do is to sit back on his butt you see his butt yeah he's gonna sit back on his butt and his first concern is to bring up his head because his posture basically begin with his head with his neck muscles okay uh, so I'm gonna grab it right here or grab his head as soon as I have his posture broken I'm gonna grab his head and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come over okay and I'm gonna go inside and grab uh, this wizard, okay? Now, the more close, the closer you are towards his uh, shoulder, it's gonna be harder for him to posture up. So if you can really go over his shoulder and get this, it's gonna be uh, harder for him to posture up. Now, to make it even more hard, uh, excuse me, to make it even harder, I'm gonna pose here, okay? And I'm gonna turn my hips towards the camera. Okay, I'm gonna turn my hips towards outside, and from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to a position which is called pyramid. Okay, so to to show you what's a pyramid position, just face towards the camera and my guard, please. Yeah. One side. Yeah. So to show you what's a pyramid, imagine that I have this posture broken. I have already shrimp and my hips are rotated outside, so I, I'm not in this uh, uh, side scissor position. And what I'm gonna do now 
is to keep his posture broken because if I just stay here, after a while he's gonna posture up. He's gonna be able to posture up. I can't just keep him here for life, okay? So what I have, what I have to do now is to uh, put this strong, I mean, uh, resistance behind his back and uh, most likely behind his neck, so he can't posture up. So what for that? I'm gonna do a position which is called parliament. So I'm gonna from here bring this knee up. Over, over his, uh, I mean, shoulder bone, uh, excuse me, scapula bone. So I'm gonna come up like this, you see? And this knee, I'm gonna bring it inside, okay? And this foot is gonna, like, both my legs are gonna be closed, okay? Sometimes, just even more, uh, for if you're flexible, you can even bring your uh, heel and touch your knee uh, with your heel, okay? But does it doesn't really, it's not really necessary. So you're gonna, uh, break down his posture and now from here you're gonna bring this knee inside okay and the other knee is gonna come up okay and your knees are gonna squeeze you see it's not open my knees aren't open I'm gonna uh, squeeze now as soon as I uh, he feel that I'm squeezing if he stays here I'm open to so many attacks I can either go for omoplata I can go for gogo plata I can go for so many attacks so as soon as he feels this danger, he's gonna posture up. But how did, pay attention to how he, he used to posture up. He used his hand, he used his, uh, he's gonna use his left hand to posture up. And that's the moment I'm gonna take advantage of it. So go down please. So I'm here, I'm gonna go to pyramid, okay, pyramid, bone here. And now he's going to posture up using his hand. As soon as he used his hand to posture up, I'm still excusing with my knees, okay? I'm going to grab his elbow, excuse me, I'm going to grab his wrist. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to push onto his, into his biceps with my shin, okay? I'm going to push my shin into his biceps. You see what I did? I'm going to push my shin into his biceps. Now, from here, because he's not, why I'm going to push my shin to his biceps? Because he's going to close the elbow and not gonna, not, he's not going to let me uh, I mean, bring my uh, foot inside, okay? So as soon as I got this hand posted on the mat, right, close your elbow, now we close his elbow, now I'm gonna push it with my shin, okay? I'm gonna push it with my shin, and now, as soon as I have enough space, I'm gonna put my foot inside, okay? So, as soon as I put my foot inside, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna still stick to this hand, and now I'm gonna close my triangle right here, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under his armpit, okay? Get this angle, bring my knee, bring my foot down, squeeze with my knees together, and make him tap on the one to three taps, okay? So one more time. Again, triangle from overhook. Very useful, guys. Super high percentage, okay? So I'm gonna make him break the posture. As soon as he breaks, I break his posture, I'm gonna grab to him, okay? I'm gonna see how I see this. I'm gonna grab something on him, okay? Most likely the overhook and the uh, uh, and the grip on the back of his neck, okay? I can even sometimes like grab like this. This is a good grip as well. It's a very strong grip, okay? Wrestlers use this a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this, and as I said, he's gonna be on his butt. He's not gonna be like, yeah, he's gonna be on his butt. He, like, you're never gonna be right here, because this is bad. What you're gonna do from here, nothing, okay? You're gonna be on his butt, and he's gonna try to posture back up. So, I'm gonna still get my close guard, have my close guard, and from here, I'm gonna keep this leg in place. I'm gonna post this on his hip, rotate my hips towards outside, and now, I'm gonna get the pyramid, okay? Now, for the pyramid, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this knee up and bring this knee inside, okay? Now, as soon as he feels the danger, he's gonna posture up, and as soon as he posture, posture up, he's gonna do this, okay? He can even keep his hand here. It's not a big deal, there's nothing to grab. Like, grab something there, nothing. There's nothing to grab. I just get it. Even if he's here, even if he's here and he's grabbing onto my thigh or something, I just did this, okay? And this is done, this is done. Now I'm gonna push my shin, you see? I'm gonna push my shin onto his body, into his biceps, so like this. And now what I'm gonna do, as soon as I have enough space, I'm gonna put my heel and push it further. So I'm gonna like push him right here. Now his posture is completely broken. Try to posture up, you see his can, because he doesn't have his hand. Cool. So now what I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to just change my legs, okay? I'm going to come inside, grab my own shin, get my angle, and I'm going to squeeze, okay? Thank you, brother. So, triangle from overhook, super high percentage. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a trial, let me know. Thank you, good kid.